Well, the past few years, we've seen some exciting bowl matchups in the Sun Bowl and then some not so exciting game. It's really the luck of the draw for a committee who picks their matchup after the Belk Bowl, the Red Box Bowl, the Pinstripe Bowl. There's a few of them ahead of the Sun Bowl, but with so much parity in the ACC and Pac-12 this year, the Sun Bowl really couldn't go wrong. And in the end, the second oldest bowl game in the country selected Florida State out of the ACC and Arizona State out of the Pac-12. And for the Seminoles, it's their first trip to the Sun Bowl since 1966. They also played UTEP in the 1956 Sun Bowl game. Then there's the Sun Devils, a familiar friend of the Sun Bowls. Arizona State making their seventh appearance in El Paso, their second in three years. It's a matchup that has the Sun Bowl selection committee elated. Leaving uh, Charlotte this morning, I had a good feeling about us getting Florida State uh, and talking to our, our other bowl partners, and, um, you know, it, everything went as planned. Florida State just announced our new coach, who is, was an assistant coach at Arizona State, the offensive coordinator a number of years ago when they were here. So I know everybody's excited, the people in Arizona excited, and all the alumni at both Southern New Mexico and West Texas. A lot of storylines in this one. You know the drill. Game day is New Year's Eve. High noon kickoff at Sunbolt Stadium. We'll, of course, bring you coverage of both teams leading up to kickoff. As for this year's college football playoff, LSU number one. They'll play number four, Oklahoma, in the Peach Bowl. Ohio State gets the two seed, and they'll play number three, Clemson, in the Fiesta Bowl. Something to note here. In the six-year history of the college football playoff, the number one seed has never gone on to win the national championship. Happy bowling season, my friends.